Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here and today I'm bringing you a pretty highly requested video on my channel and it's gonna be really helpful. I haven't done one of these videos in a while where I actually have like things like planned out what I want to say. Usually I just like fire ideas at the top of my head and improv and stuff like that. But this video is going to be teaching you guys how to properly use the Smoka, Smoky Zuka attack strategy in operations. Uh, you could do this in player bases, against player bases, but I don't really recommend it because it's really hard. Um, but for operations, this is very useful. And what you like, basically, I'm going to tell you what you need to know. The the learning curve will be better for you guys from what than what I started using Smokizuka, and pretty much the requirements and what you need to use to be able to use it. So basically, the Smokizuka attack strategy is a monster in operations. It can help with so much. Uh, but you need like three things first. One, you need to be at least an HQ. I think 15 and have the smokes available, the gumboat ability of the smokes. You need a lot of GBE and you need a pretty much high level Zookas and maybe a damage statue here and there. And you need to be willing to boost. I forgot to mention this too. You also, if you're using smoky Zookas, you really, 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 where's my armor? You really want to have high level smokes so the duration is longer. You really want to have high level flares so you can so that you don't have to keep reflaring a lot and that'll cause you to mess up if you do and you have to and you want high level shocks so flares max those out if you can shocks always help for any attack strategy and smokes are the main things along with the a lot of gbe and stuff like that all right so the first thing that i need to teach you before you actually get out and use this in operations i already told you you need a lot of gbe and stuff like that so this is probably one of the trickiest things to learn. It's how to start out using the Smoky Zookas, like to get them all grouped up. I'll show you a good intro clip here. You can see Muchachi or Muchogachi does this perfectly. Um, this is how I've been learning to do it. And basically you drop a flare as far left or far right as you can to where you want them to go straight. And then you drop on the far left of wherever you flared or the far right, depending on which way you're going. You drop your boat, and then once that lead Zookas from that first boat pass where another boat would go, you drop another boat, drop another boat, drop another boat, drop another boat, and then they're down there in that bottom right or bottom left where you flared, and then you can reflare to group them up again, and then you flare to where you want your Zookas to go. So they're all grouped up and are able to be in that one smoke. Uh, this is can be really tricky to learn, but I highly suggest you don't practice this on operations. You try it on a player base or NPC base that has a big beach for you to work with, um, so you don't fail and your task force does not get mad at you in operation. So to practice this on NPC bases um, or player bases, if player bases have a lot of stuff towards the um, to the front of the base, don't try it on them because you lose all your zookas. But if you lose, if they have like a cannon or something, that's fine. It's better than completely failing in an operation. But as you can see here, I have bullet chasers. The beach is big enough for me to be able to practice this. I just need to take out the rockets with my GBE. And every time I attack with Zookas, I always usually have 117 GBE or more. So I highly recommend that depending on the level of operations you are taking out. Now if you're taking out easier operations, it could be a different story. You could have a little bit less. But this is just the basics if you want to progress and learn your heavy Zooka tactics. Not heavy Zooka, smoky Zooka. So basically, what you want to do is flare as far right as you can. And then you drop your first boat of Zookas. And then once those lead Zookas go again, you drop another one, you drop another boat once those lead Zookas go again, drop another one, drop another one, drop another one, drop another one, and then you drop another one. And they're all going to flare towards that bottom right, and then you can reposition them so they're all grouped up, and then you flare to where you want them to go, and they would all smit, smit, they all fit in one smoke as you can see there. So you just keep practicing that, um, they're going to go to their boats, I'm just going to throw those, but okay. So we're going to do it the other way now, we're going to go from the left hand side, we're going to drop the flare over here, drop our first boat, wait till they get over there, drop our second one, drop our third one, drop our fourth one, and you don't need to rush this either. This is like crucial, but you can do it steady at your own pace, and you just wait till they're all grouped up down there, reflare, and then you flare to where you want them to go, and there you go. It's okay if you have a couple outside of the smokes, you just need to flare like that, and they're all grouped up. So pretty simple once you get the hang of it at first it's a little it took me a while to learn it too but once I figured out you can just practice it on your own it's definitely worth it so learn that part and get it down all right this next tip will save you a many Zooka <laughs> a lot of Zooka Zooka's lives 
Basically, um, you know how when you flare with, like, when you're using the warrior attack strategy, you, like, flare to a building so the warriors group up around there? When you use smoky zookas, you do not want to flare on buildings. You do not want to, like, here, I'll show you an example. You do not want to specifically target a building when using the smoky zooka. You always want to flare, like, next to the building where you want them to go, or next to a location where you want them to go. Never specifically flare onto a building. This caused me so many troubles, and it actually took me a while to learn, but it's so beneficial once you know this, because if you flare onto the building itself with the smoky zooka, they'll stop before it because they have a really long range, and they'll group up around it, and it'll mess you up. So just flare next to it so they keep running, and then you just keep flaring farther and farther ahead. This will save you many Zuka's lives, and as you can see in this attack, it's done properly. And then another tip is, when you finally get to your destination, you want to throw down like two or three smokes around that flare, so you can flare onto the HQ, and then like nothing will hit them, and then you just shock like the flamethrowers, the rockets, and shocks like that. But those are like the main big tips to learning this, um, and like the of course you got to worry about the mines and stuff and everything like that because you have such low health. But Another tip, I guess, which is helpful is, like, you want to clump together your smokes. Um, you want to have them really close together, not, like, because at Warriors run so much faster, you can, like, kind of spread your smokes out a little farther to save GB, but with Zookas, you can't do that, otherwise you'll lose a lot of them. But now, I'm going to do a live attack, and then I'll show you, at towards the end of the video, like, some replays of some good heavy, or smoky Zooka attacks that are really, really helpful. Alright, so I am boosted up now with the GBE the damage. I have a pretty wide open duality base here on Curtain Call and this is where Zoo Heavy Zuka, well, you could argue that Warriors could be a good option here but for the video I was gonna do this. It has like 350, 353k health which is, isn't too bad but I need to use pretty much all the techniques that I told you guys about um, to properly take down this base because I have to do heavy like smoke properly in between here and then I have to shock and then everything like that. So I'm gonna do the starting position down here where I get my Zookas all clumped up and ready to go. And then I'm gonna flare along here, not flaring on any specific building. I'll probably end up flaring like right next to that boosted statue and then just boost the according thing or shock the according things that I need to. So attacking live here, if I screw up, oh well. Hopefully you guys can learn some things, but all right, so you're going to want to drop your first flare in the line that you want your Zookas to go. And since I'm going where that statue is, I want to drop my first flare like right down here. Kind of back towards in the water. So I can just group them up. And alright, let's do it. So there we go, then we're going to drop our first boat. Second boat. Third boat. Fourth boat. Fifth boat. Sixth boat. Seventh boat. Eighth boat. And then I kind of messed up a little bit there, that's fine, you just have to reposition. And then you flare to where you want them to go. See, like, the biggest key is not to panic, because at first when I would do this, I would panic all the time when that happened. But now I'm not. So now I just got to smoke a little bit closer than you would with warriors. And then once I'm about to get to my destination, you just drop a couple smokes to cover all of the Zookas where they're going to go. And then you flare onto that HQ. And then see, you can tell how it helps to have like high level smokes and everything like that. But I need to shock the shock and the flamethrowers and I'm gonna shock the boom cannons. And we'll take this down no problem. It's okay if the machine gun's hitting them, but boom. There you go. So that's how you do it properly. Of course this, this HQ didn't have that much health left so it was kind of easier, but even if it did have a, like a massive amount of health, it would've went down instantly. I'll show you the attack before this as well. It's like the same exact concept, same exact strategy with Heavy Zooka. Smoky Zooka, I keep saying Heavy Zooka, but there we go. Beat the base, and then let's check out um, Muchachachis. He's the one that I've learned pretty much everything from him, so big shout out to him. Because I've learned how to do the opening just from watching him simply. So you can see he does it a little bit better than me. He's a little bit more faster. Same, same thing though, and then he's going to reposition because his Zookas aren't all together. And he's going to flare, not targeting a specific building. That's that's key. And then he's just going to drop the smokes right in between there. He gets a little bit off-center with the smokes here, but it happens, that's alright. And he was walking up there, walking up there, and then you can see this HQ has a lot of health. If he would have was able to take this down, 
um, then I wouldn't have had to do an attack, but that's alright. So we lost some there, but that's okay. Throwing down the shocks, and the Zookas, there we go. Just draining, draining that HQ health, and then I was able to finish off after Zookas all did die. So that's how to properly do it. Now I'm just gonna run some, some more good Smoky Zooka attacks, either myself or Muchi Chachi in the video at towards the end. But if you have any questions or any suggestions, let me know. This also works going like along the corner side of bases too, if you need to like get these HQs that are like over in here. It works the same way, just you gotta not flare and target these like power cells over there. You'd have to flare in the corner, corner, and stuff like that. But any questions, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like you did, and don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you're not ready. You guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.